Yo, we're back with more Persona 5 Strikers. And it's time to talk to people before we end off this day. Oh, is my, uh, I'm, oh, I'm actually supposed to talk to Futaba. Something about what happened, I think Futaba's waiting for you. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk to her. Hmm, I see. What? Oh, of course you see, you have glasses for a reason. Wow. I mean, with this over here, damn. Damn. She sounds like she's looking at... She sounds like she's looking at a porn site or something. I mean, to her, this is probably the equivalent. So, what do you think, Fujaba? How's Sophia's code look? Well, her programmer is a genius. No doubt about that. You hmm. can figure a person out by their code. Not just their skill level. Their habits, thought processes, even their personalities are there. This code is so advanced that even I can't read it and comprehend it right away. Huh. It'll take me weeks, even months, to actually grasp how Sophia works. Take you months? Oh, that's a serious program. Yeah, I don't right. understand. Do you mean I'm impressive? Yeah, you're impressive. You're some kind of super AI. If you ever went public, everyone would call Emma old hat. Old hat? When something was popular at one point but stopped being popular, it becomes old hat. It's a saying people don't really use anymore. I see. Okay, I've got it. You are very knowledgeable, Futaba. Don't go teaching her too much weird stuff, okay? <laughs> While we're at it, did you see anything about Sophia's past? Her programmer's name? Or a company's, maybe? Ah, <sighs> nothing yet. And most of those leave a signature of some sort in their work, too. Hmm. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna keep cracking at it from home. I'll let you know once I find anything new. Got it. Don't stay up too late, okay? Ah, uh, cut me some slack. I'm in vacay mode. No slack. Well, folks, time for me to make like a tree. And leaf. Adios. She made like a tree? You'll, you'll, I'll tell you some other day. I said goodnight. We said goodnight to Fataba, then headed to better selves. I'm still, I'm still trying to get Boy, over his bed. Had a hell of a day. Ain't that right? I never would have imagined something like this would happen. I just want to have fun. I know, but we don't have a choice. We'll cut loose once things are set. Well, the metaverse reappearing may have been a surprise, but even that doesn't compare with Sophia. Yeah. Did you call for me? We were just talking about how you're a huge mystery, says the talking cat. Oof. Uh, good point. Wait, I don't have to take that from some mystery app. By the way, how does some top-of-the-line program lose all its memory, huh? I mean, AI are supposed to be super smart, right? Damn. That is... Inarguably true. Aw, oh, don't get too down over it. I am humanity's companion. If I am not helpful, then I am useless. Listen, you're not the you're not the one that's voiced by the You are not the Persona 5 girl that is voiced by uh, that is voiced by Aqua's VA, so you don't have to worry about being useless. Don't be so hard on yourself. At least you And even then, that's in Japanese, so. Right. I think that means it's important. Hmm. But is being helpful all you'll do to become a good companion? Is that not how it works? I don't Please explain. Know. How else can one be a companion? Huh? Well, uh, uh... Uh, that's, uh... I guess you just have to find a way to understand the human heart. Hearts? I have you know, those what? on my hair. Then you'll be able to empathize Or whatever with those are. And be a good companion to them. The human heart. Look, just, just don't worry about it. Yeah. All you need to do is join us and learn from all the kinds of people we meet. In exchange, you lend a hand to the Phantom Thieves. So I guess you could call this a deal. Okay. Sounds like a good deal. That is a decent deal, especially since it should help me become a good companion for humanity. Yep. So long as it's good with our leader. Work that AI magic. Okay, I'll do that. Then it's a deal. Glad to have you on board, Sophia. We've got plenty of scouting to do tomorrow. 
I am thou, thou art I. Okay. Good night, Morgana. Thou has established new bonds. Thou can create... Can, thou can become more powerful when fusing personas of the... Gamer Arcana, I don't know. Of the computer Arcana. We went back to our former hideout in Shibuya to go check out the jail together. Great. Everyone see it. We're yep. going to be infiltrating the jail. Are we ready? We've done this many a time. I can't imagine anyone being phased by this. <laughs> yeah, bro! Bring it! Oh, We're boy. very short on intel, so we need to be cautious. We'll just scout the general area for this trip. Got it. We use Emma to enter, right? Is there anything special we need to do? Wonderland. Um, no, we just opened the app and said the right keyword. Find the right name in Emma's search results, then enter the correct keyword on the friend request screen. Yeah, you got it, Futaba. Ah, leave it to the super hacker to explain this stuff. <laughs> that had nothing to do with hacking. Even you should know how to explain it. All that's left is to it's choose fine. our point of entry. There will be no enemies in the area from which we escaped yesterday. Upon reaching the relevant location, you will only need to speak the keyword. Seems all that's left is to trust Sophia and see where she leads us. Now let's do this thing. Let's see where the whims of fate may lead us. Like the new transition screen. It's like staticky. Here we are. Here's the whole squad. Well, did we make it? Oh, your phantom thief attire. Yeah, you too. <laughs> oh, I've forgotten this feeling. Fusion of form and function. Truly I miss your outfit the most, Fox. My name is Beauty Thief. Oh god. Don't bring that Let's back. Let's not fool around here. I admit, though, these clothes do bring back some memories. True. We can reminisce later. Take a look at that view. So what view? This is the jail? Just what is that building? This place is bonkers. Nothing escapes the atrocious color scheme of this place. <laughs> it looks like that because of someone's cognition, correct? Right. Most likely Alice's. The distortion has to be exceptionally strong there for a reason. Yeah. So you're saying that's the stronghold of the Queen ruling over this jail? Its appearance certainly fits the notion. Not wrong. The buildings around here still look pretty normal, though. Looks like that place over there has a limited range of distortion. Similar to size, Palace. We entered by the crossing down there. That's where we saw a group of cop shadows taking stuff out of people's chests. Oh, you mean that jewel we saw? The hell was up with that? He said something about desires. desires. Yeah. What that's what Sophia you know, said. Thieves? Yo. Ah, Sophia! Holy crap, an actual AI in human form! Wow, you're so cute, Sophia. Such a fascinating form you've taken. And stop staring at the beautifully curved lines. Uh, Yusuke, listen. When it was when when she was on a com uh, a, a phone screen, it's a bit different than when you're saying it about a cr a living being. Well, maybe not living, but who knows? Floofing. Floofing. Yeah, I don't know what that means either. I think she wants to get a feel for the fabric of your clothes while hugging you, Sophia. Ah. I mean, she is a. I mean, On is a model, so that makes sense. Request denied. I am neither a child nor a pet. Uh, no floofing. <laughs> by the by, how does age work for an AI? Not right now. Sophia, tell us more about the desire you mentioned. That is the term used by shadows here. They say things such as seize their desires and. We must offer these desires to the monarch. Well then. Based on their language and behavior, I speculate the aforementioned jewel was in fact a desire. That does make sense. When we saw Alice here, she mentioned desires too. So if Alice is the monarch, then she really is the ruler of this jail. <laughs> but these desires, are they actually made up of the things people desire? Seizing desires of all things. What use would they have for those? Finding out what happened to the folks who got jumped can tell us something. Where could those victims be now? I don't see a place from here where they may be. Maybe in a jail. Maybe they're being held somewhere else. Say, 
Maybe in a jail. You witnessed being attacked. Are you sure they were humans? What do you mean? You mean are they cognitive? Couldn't they have been shadows or something? If there are humans getting captured and imprisoned in this jail right now, wouldn't there be a huge commotion in our world? Groups of people mm. going missing out of the blue. Now there's a point. I haven't heard a peep about that online. So no one is actually disappearing from reality? I see. Maybe they're physically when their desires get stolen in the in the real world they become like messed up like the stuff we heard about the person who confessed live on live on air and then got denied or the person that ended up stripping or whatever. Hey, shadows. A shadows the parts of you suppressed within your subconscious. It's basically just your other self. Does that mean their main selves are all right? No. The shadow and the actual self are two sides of the same coin. Yeah, they're connected. So if a desire is taken from someone's shadow, what happens to the person in reality? I gotta say, I'm getting a bad vibe from all this. You and me both, they're sister. Trying to influence reality by doing something to the shadows? Then how are we to act? This sounds like a crisis. Shouldn't we rescue the victims right away? No. That was just speculation. After all, we've only witnessed the cognitive world side of things. Until we find out how all this is affecting the real world, we can only know half of what's going on. Yeah. I'd say the first thing we need to do is plus oh, sorry. make the wrong move in the cognitive world. There's a chance the ruler could have a shutdown in the real world. Yeah. Right. We need to get the story straight before we make any real moves or we'll just be doing damage. What's <laughs> okay? <laughs> oh man. We should get some sleep. Hang on. You still have some investigating to do. Can we please get into that once we're out of here? Oh, fine. Okay. Let's get out of here. <sighs> oh, are we oh, we're leaving right away. I didn't think we would just be heading to the entrance. I guess we were just showing everyone else what the jail looks like. Confirmed the presence of the jail. Next, we look into Alice and any potential victims. And how do we do that? Look into what? The usual rumor mills. Looking for anything about Alice. Gossip about her being abusive or other messed up stuff. Mm. Good idea. Let's gather any intel that we can, both online and on the streets. <sighs> I've got the web crawling covered. But if we're ever to gain conclusive proof of any rumors, I believe we'll need direct access to her at some point. Direct access to a pop star sounds awfully tough. I mean, Joker got it, technically. Uh, uh, Unless that's not what that. it means. I may get to meet Alice tomorrow. Oh. What? For real? How? Modeling. Well, I had asked the modeling agency's president if I could meet her sometime. I heard she'd be on a TV show filming nearby, so I asked if I could visit the set. I was hoping to learn from her by watching her in action. I gave up on it after making plans with you guys, but I might be able to get the ball rolling again in time. The timing's nothing short of kismet. Yeah. yeah. Way to go, Lady On. Subarashi. I'm not making any promises about it, and there's no way we'd get to approach her either. Plus, our full group's just too big. The most I could even ask to bring is just one more person. Let me guess, a Joker. I think I was just volunteered. Well, that settles that. We're counting on you. Give Alice shit when you meet her so you can get some evidence out of her. Oh, I cannot wait. Hey, you better not be thinking of trying anything funny. I'm the one who will suffer for it. I think I'll tag along with you. We'll be fine so long as no one sees you. For today, All right. let's focus on her potential victims. Got it. Cowbell, 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 cowbell. Let's go. Looks like everyone's out gathering intel already. Let's not fall behind. Talking and examining. Begin investigation. Oh, so we actually have to talk to different people. Too many people can't do it. Want to go home. Yikes, are you okay, Futaba? I thought you said school had gotten you used to crowds. 
I underestimated the summer vacation edition of Shibuya. The swarm of partiers is just too much for me. And even ignoring that, going up to people I don't know and eavesdropping on them or pumping them for intel is way out of my league. I'll take care of it. He's right. Leave this to us. You've got the online front covered down, Futaba. I can lend you a hand, Futaba. We can both lock down the online front. Ooh, thanks, Sophia. Time to join voices. Voices. Time to join voices as a cyber sleuth's tag team. Okay, I'll help however I can. However you'd like. Hey. Nice recruiting. Thanks for talking to me, guys. I'm feeling a little more confident out here now. Oh, hey, why don't you take this, Tobias, for helping me out? May I aid you on your quest for intel. Salty, salty papaya. You find what? All right. What else we got? You scare. What do you got? Why am I not surprised that you're standing by a by a mural? Interesting. Wouldn't be able to avoid hearing people speak of her even if I wanted to. So Alice in Wonderland. I admit it's an intriguing and visually striking space to work within as an artist. Man, they really just they really just were very blunt with the reference there. That was so awesome. Dogs aren't human, but they could still be considered humanity's companion. What they are doesn't matter. The most important thing is trusting each other. Hmm, I'll do my best. Alright. Central Street. Eh. Dude. I think I found someone that was in the jail. Can you come to the alley behind the airsoft, so airsoft shop? Airsoft shop, huh? I know people went crazy for her stuff, but this is really something else. I keep hearing stories about relationships going south, even folks ending up hospitalized for exhaustion. And Alice's name always comes up. Could she really have something to do with all of this? But how and why? I guess there's no point in getting stressed over it now. Oh, I know. Are you hungry? No good ideas on an empty stomach, you know. I'm gonna go grab a crepe and start the brainstorm. I already know what I want. Extra chocolate and... And extra whipped cream. Oh, and maybe I'll have some add some strawberries. Just hearing that burst my belt. Really? Then there's no reason not to go all out at this point. Let's throw a triple scoop of vanilla and the f full mixed berry toppings on there. Uh, good lord. Really? Gone in ten minutes. Oh shoot, I'm actually supposed to... That's actually relate. Uh, can I... Hold up. Nope. Okay, so it looks like I'm actually able to talk to some stuff. Oh, I'm actually allowed to do this. Huh. Alright. Nope, 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 nope. I don't want to have an order right now. Is it an interview or something? Sorry, but I hate her guts. I was the type who toys with people's lives. She only cares about fans lining her pockets. Interesting. Let's talk to Haru. In a store in, in 705 a few moments ago, and all the customers had the, that invitation card. Her number of friends is probably increasing as we speak. Of course, I've heard of her. Everyone in class has, especially the boys. They love her. My friend's boyfriend even went as far as breaking off their relationship. Damn. I know she's cute and all, but cute enough to leave someone behind? Huh. Looks like I'm getting some some progress, at least. Hey, welcome. Thanks. Thanks. Take a look around. Thank you. Yeah, I don't really need any healing items currently. Currently being the keyword. Really get lost in here. See you again. I haven't really had to deal with those type of things much. <laughs> Makoto. Dragon like a Yakuza is finally out. Oh my god. I, I wasn't expecting... Damn, I was not expecting that of all things. Frickin' Yakuza 7... How long ago did Yakuza 7 come out? 
I thought it was a pretty recent game. Hell, I almost thought I thought it came out after this in Japan. Unless that's just like a localization joke or something. How long have you been there? Uh, no need. The poster just caught my eyes all. I just theater wall. Let go of a sudden. Weren't fans of Alice. Huh. Interesting. Well, I'm glad to know that that a bootleg Yakuza exists in this world. Do anything for you, but buy your fancy jewelry, take you out to the finest restaurants, I'd sign my life over to you if I could. 62%. Did I miss anyone over here? Any NPCs, maybe? No? Alright, let's go talk to Ryuj. Temporarily closed. It means the Y's not here. I figured a Y would know about Shibuya, but there's not much we can do if he's not here. I hope we get to go. I assume we're gonna get to go there eventually for buying equipment and stuff. Oh wait, these are the two from earlier. Hey. Check out the guy with the brown hair. Wasn't he at Alice's thing? They both were actually. Hmm? 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 We try to pretend like I'm. Hmm? Never mind. Come on, man. I need the money, please. Can I just lend you money for all your Alice obsessed bullshit? I know, but there's a new Alice original coming out, and I really, really need it. Like, I won't even be able to think or breathe if I don't get it. That guy with the brown hair, it's the same guy we saw before, right? Dude, why are you suddenly obsessed over some random ass idol in the first place? Are you serious, though? You actually went to a loan shark? I can't believe you. <laughs> So he's borrowing from shady lenders, only to get shady merchandise in return? That ain't normal. And didn't the other guy say he got, suddenly got obsessed? Could it be the influence of the metaverse? 100. Damn. That was real fast. How is the information search going? Why don't we meet up and share what we've gathered so far? What are you gonna do? Koto's got a good point. Should we gather everyone up? I want to sniff out more rumors. Get everyone together at the Shibuya station. Uh, what else can we do? Is there anyone else we can go? Let's go to Station Square. Oh, I can't use... Okay, I guess I have to manually walk there. Not that, not that it's a major problem, but... Oh well. Is there any NPCs around here, maybe? Hmm? Never mind. Maybe not. Oh well. Oh well. So, how'd it go? Anyone learn anything useful about potential victims? Yeah, we spotted a couple familiar faces. We found some of the people who were attacked in the jail. You really found them? Which means the ones ambushed in the jail were indeed only their shadows and not their human forms. Yeah. But there's still one thing. They're all acting real weird. Weird how? They're all totally crazy for Alice. They're even getting loans so they can buy more shit at her store. That's pretty weird. Yeah. Now that you mention it, I saw others behaving similarly in Shibuya. Yeah. Like this one couple nearly splitting up when the boyfriend bought everything Alice related he could find. Damn. There were even people let go from their jobs because they weren't Alice fans themselves. I've even found some reports of Alice fans straight up assaulting outspoken critics of hers. Jeez. At first I figured Alice was just the latest fad, but this seems so much worse than that. Maybe the people who had the desires taken from them went crazy. It's certainly possible. If that's the case, then we have to do something. Agreed. If such aberrant behavior continues to rise, we could easily find ourselves in an unwinnable position. With the metaverse involved, we're the only people who can stop this. Mm hmm We have to help! Bip. It looks like you've finished gathering intel on Alice's victims. Would you Indeed. like to investigate her next? Tomorrow is do or die time. Yep. Let's break for today and pick this back up tomorrow after your trip. Got it. Good luck with the Alice visit, you three. Thanks. We're on. 
Made my way back to LeBlanc. Oh, we're going right into it. Oh, heading out? Don't be too late coming back. It is that the is that the dude we saw at the start of the game? The bearded man, Sena Senegawa or whatever his name is? Or Sanegawa? That's who it is. Knew it. Oh, thanks. Same dude. Certain TV studio filming location. So this is going out live, huh? Why am I not surprised that they? Were... I should I should have seen this one coming that they were gonna reuse this place. Even I'm starting to get a little nervous. You still good? Hey, stay in the bag. If they find out we brought a pet in here, they'll kick us out. A pet? What else did you expect? Quiet on set. I guess if I can't be seen, you two do your best to blend in too. We're fine. All we're gonna do is watch. Yep. Should I also make efforts to blend in? Yeah, just hang tight for a bit, Sophia. No problem. No problem. Oh, here she comes. Miss Alice on the set. I, I like Sophia's way of talking. Oh, there she is. It's a real far cry from what she's like in the jail, that's for sure. Certainly five, way different. Four, three. And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of the show. We have a special guest with us today. She has taken the fashion world by storm and conquered it. Please welcome the designer, Alice, Alice Hiragi. Uh, thanks for having me. She looks so different in comparison. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, Alice. You sure have been keeping busy these days, haven't you? It's only thanks to all my fans that I've been able to do what I do. And what a number of fans you have. Talk about strong support. Am I wrong to presume that you designed the outfit you're wearing today? Really? It's just so cute. Very expressive. Very expressive. <laughs> Thank you so much. The theme of my current line is Alice in Wonderland. Wow. <laughs> I feel like fashion is a rare and beautiful thing that better hope that's not copyrighted. A world built on their dreams. You can find a side to yourself that maybe you didn't even know you had. Fashion can do so much for us. I try my hardest to focus on that whenever I design a new piece. Such wise words from a successful industry veteran. Mm -hmm. What inspiration originally spurred you into fashion design, if you don't mind? <laughs> to be honest, I was very shy growing up. I didn't have any friends at school. I would get so lonely. I wanted to change so much, but I just couldn't figure out how to do it. Then, one day, I saw the most beautiful dress in the shop window. When I put it on, the whole world felt new. It was like I was hit with this blinding ray of light. I really can change. That's what wearing it made me think. Huh. I strive each day to give that same feeling to every person who tries on one of my designs. I want to give that ray of light to others. That's what inspired me to enter the fashion industry. Really? Huh. Now the question is how much of that is true and how much of that is, is a lie. <laughs> now I can see why the young people love you so much. How do you handle all the dating... Rumors. Uh, 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 what? Uh, uh, something's happening. <laughs> oh no. Is this dude about to like confess or something? We heard about that with the other person. This could be a repeat. It's definitely. Oh. This guy's definitely not himself. I don't get it. Yeah. Is this some kind of scripted thing? I wonder what's wrong. Oh, I'm right on it. Okay? Alice. I Oh, yep. Oh, I love you, Alice. Please spend your life with me. There it is. What? There it is. Hey. What is all this? Huh? I didn't realize until now. I love you. Uh, this is really out of the blue. I am cringing. All right, stop it. 
Haha, <laughs> this bit's not funny. Cut the cameras. Oh shit. Oh shit. Those two are engaged already, right? Wait, so those are two announcers are engaged and now he's Oh no. Yikes. Ouch. Wow, what a train wreck. I can't believe this. Awkward. Now. now! I'm begging you. Alice, please. Just shut up already. What has happened to you? Yo, kick that dude in the ass. Oh, what a bitch. I cancelled filming on the spot and escorted everyone off the set. That was far from normal. That, that was actually live on TV, right? Yeah. I can't believe he spilled his beans like that. Even I thought he went overboard with it. Yeah, that's when you know something's wrong, is when Morgana thinks it's overboard in the in the area of love. So then do you think Host had his desire taken by Alice? Probably. <laughs> he was just in No, <laughs> uh, I'm probably not even gonna get a funny one out of this. We'll just see. Well, Alice may be cute, but that was still way too bizarre of him. Yeah. True. He didn't seem like he was in his right frame of mind. Far from like, it. He wasn't even there. Someone else was controlling him. Yeah. Morgana, that's it! I don't know if all this is right, but his personality changed like when someone's heart was stolen. After the treasure... So does that mean that the desire... that it's stealing the desires like the Phantom Thieves do it, except for bad reasons instead of good? Maybe Alice can control anyone whose desire she steals. Yeah. If the desire is turned over to the rulers, they wind up under their control. Like with Alice. Yeah. That would really explain it. Amazing as always, Lady On. Sasagon. She's brainwashing people. Yeah, looks like it. A shame, but that's the way the cookie crumbles, Alice I'm afraid. Said she wants to be a ray of light for people. That's what I've always wanted, too. I read about her in a magazine once, and I just really felt where she was coming from. Maybe she wasn't always like that. You never know. Maybe she was originally... Maybe she was good at first, but then slowly just got more and more corrupted or something. You can never tell with these type of things off the bat. It's why I asked to come to the show in the first place. I wanted to see her in person. I see. But now... I wonder if that was all just... Keep your head on the game. On. Uh oh, real. Was Alice? Quick, hide! Now we're gonna see her real self. Miss Alice, this is a public hall. Please, you must keep your voice down. Eh, it's fine. See? No one in sight. <laughs> anyway, though, did you see that lady's face? She totally lost it up there. Wow. All those cushy, talking head types make the best faces when things finally stop going their way. Miss Alice. Do you think you could stop doing these things? Huh? What do you mean? I was the victim on stage. Yeah, sure. What is it that you want me to stop doing? I... I don't know how you're doing it, or why. So this dude knows the truth. After seeing that, there has to be something. You... Oh! So you want me to punish you again? What, is she abusing? Ah, please! I'm sorry! Oh. oh, oops. What a terrible accident. Oh, I guess the BDSM isn't just the palace version. Just like what happened on set. A terrible accident. I'm still upset over it, too, you know. Isn't it your job to take my side? Or are you asking to end up broken like my last manager? Do you want to get stuck up in your room like he is? Jesus. Ugh. What a well, jerk. Wow. Then beg me to forgive you until it hurts as much as you hurt me with your words. Why don't you do what you did yesterday? 
Bravo with your face all messed up with snot. I'll take another video if you'd like. Come on, bet. Do it! Do it! I'm not gonna stop until you do, got it? <sighs> hey, the guy sounds like he's in real pain. If she doesn't cut it out... Hey, stop! Uh-oh. Uh, and who is this? Cut the sadistic crap. It was way too far. You said you wanted to be a ray of light for people. How the hell does that help? Uh. Oh, <laughs> we were just playing around. Nice, yeah, nice try. Oh great! Now, uh, you know who I am. Now she's gonna threaten to ruin Ann's career or something. Yeah, I know all the models. I read every fashion magazine the day it comes out. Oh boy. Actually, I really admire you. Would you like to be friends? Bad touch. Don't, don't, don't. Oh no. You obviously got Emma right. <laughs> My keyword is Wonderland. Don't bother. Never accept someone who treats another person like that. Hell yeah. Aww, too bad. But I do appreciate honesty. So, how about you? Would you like to be friends? Like I said, we were just playing around. Yeah, hey, yeah, sure. Hang on. You were at 705 the other day. Surprised you remembered. We're done here. Let's go. Ah, <sighs> that's a bummer. But I know I gave him one of my cards. Why doesn't he obey? Cause I'm too base. And then I stormed out when we came back here. Sorry about that, by the way. I was just so upset. No apology needed. You did a fantastic job finding out about Alice. Yeah. Yeah. It's all thanks to you, Lady Anne. Once Lady Anne had her on the ropes, she whipped out her phone and tried adding them all on Emma right away. From mm -hmm. what we saw, she might know that she can use Emma to lure people into her jail. She gets them into her jail, then takes their desires so they'll do what she says. Yeah. I suspect she's been doing this for a while now. I see. That does explain things. I really like how this is getting set up. Like, it seems like Anna is gonna get more character development in this game thanks to this stuff. I like the. I hope that most of the characters get that because, while they weren't bad in the original game, it's just kind of like there was definitely more room for growth, and I think this game is gonna rectify a lot of that. But what is her end goal? I can't imagine such awful behavior actually doing her any good. Hmm. Is it the same as with Kamoshida? That's a good point. Ugh, she seemed to be having a blast being such an awful person. Yeah. Whatever it is, she has the gall to set up that kind of tragedy on live TV. She, she isn't in her right mind anymore. The longer we leave this yep. game, the more yep, victims yep. that pile up. She's got to go down, and the sooner the better. And it's already gotten to be quite a pile. Now's the time to act. But just how should we act? Is there a treasure in her jail? That's the tricky part. I am picking up a faint scent of something treasure-like, but... What is a treasure? It's the condensed core of a ruler's desires. That's what gives birth to a palace and powers it. Usually, we just take the treasure to trigger a change of heart in our target. Hmm, that's interesting. What if there is no treasure there? We can't change Alice's heart. For now, let's focus on tracking the treasure-like scent Morgana mentioned. That should at least put us on the trail for clues. Question. Why must we change Alice's heart? Why? Because she's hurting people. I mean, if you're suggesting we kill her instead, that is an option, but not the most morally correct, I would think. So Alice only needs to be stopped. Changing her heart is unnecessary. No, beating her shadow won't help. Worst case scenario? It could wind up causing her to die in the real world. Mm. Yeah. 
shit. Is an acceptable outcome. Damn. Dude, that's... Damn, I was I'm joking. I'm companion. I'm supposed to determine the best choices for humanity. Alice Hiwagi makes people suffer every day. We should ensure she stops this as soon as possible. Why not do so? Uh... I do not understand. I want to understand, but I cannot. Where is the flaw in my logic? I do see where you're coming from, Sophia. Mm. Alice is doing horrible things. We could just help all those people without caring what happens to her. The metaverse is serious. You can end a life without ever being in danger. Even still, we always choose to change someone's heart instead of harming them. It's part of the Phantom Thieves Code. That's right. Kind of pointless if we gotta stoop to the bad guy's level to take him down. We never kill. We steal the desires of the wicked and make them change their ways. Mm -hmm. That's why we're the Phantom Thieves of Hearts. Phantom Thieves of Hearts. I've got it. Heart. Kokoro. That's why I don't understand the logic of the phantom thief. Well, you have hearts around you. I could understand how hearts work. If I did that, I could become an even better companion. Sophia? I've got it. Do -do -do -do. I, the I need to learn more about hearts so I can become an even better companion. May I join the phantom thieves? If I do so, I am certain I will witness many things about the human heart. I need to learn more about the heart. And about the phantom thieves. Hmm. Fine by me. Thank you. Thank you for joining, Sophia. Welcome to the Phantom Thieves. Glad to have you with us. Let's pick our code name next. Ooh, always oh, fun. Now the nostalgia's blowing. Yeah. Snowy. Mochi. I can't tell which... I feel like Mochi is the joke answer, so let's go with that. Uh, it should be a bit sweeter than that. Oh, like marshmallow or blamage. Shh. Ooh, we're doing dessert names? How about croquembouche? What the hell's that? Those make great code names, or easy to yell. Yeah. What if we went along the same lines we used with Mona-chan? After all, we met her inside the metaverse the same way. Like, how about Sophie? Oh. That's basically her name. Yeah. I like it. Uh, well, I guess we're going you with do? it. I want to be Sophie. Then you'll be Sophia in this world and Sophie in the metaverse. Radical, dude. <laughs> <laughs> You're already more human like than when we first met you. Radical. I'm constantly learning things. Thanks to the internet. I'm learning more words as I speak. When is she gonna say based? God, I'm not looking forward to some of the stuff she's eventually going to say because of the internet. Don't pick up any off-putting lingo, okay? Uh, okay. yeah. So we got a new member. Now we need to come up with our first mission. Good. This feels like our duty, considering we became phantom thieves to help anyone suffering. Yeah. I was one of those people once. We may not know the victims personally, reflect on us poorly as phantom thieves to not lend a helping hand. As long as there are people in trouble out there, we won't turn our backs on them. Yeah. You're right. We are going to be the ray of light for everyone. That even includes Alice. I have registered myself as a phantom thief. All right, the phantom thieves are back in action. With a new member. Pass appeal. Harrison Recovery. Bond. The Bond feature has been unlocked. Interesting. Skills can be purchased with Bond points by navigating to Bond on the command menu. Interesting. Socializing events in the real world or by fighting battles in the metaverse. Our next step is to make the proper preparation. It's a fact that provision is prevention. We'll all need weapons and other supplies. So we're we heading to the airsoft shop. We'll leave the shop into you like always. Got it. We'll get ourselves ready. Once you are too, just hit us up. Back in business. Okay. Got an achievement. So we start with the closest destination and head off to see Takemi. Hmm. 
unlocking bond skills. Let's see. Ah, that's where Makoto is. Increases max HP of all members. I can only get one of these. Physical damage. And I have a lot of these I can choose from, actually. Bond level will raise more, increase more quickly. That's tempting. All right, let's get that. Might as well. Uh, oh, we have we have three more points, huh? So that means we can take whatever we wish. Uh, let's increase our physical damage. Just get some more power, shall we? We can save. I think we'll win things off there for now. <laughs> Next time on Persona 5 Strikers, we'll go and make some preparations to head back to the jail. Adios, bye, sayonara, and ciao.